Hey guys, so let's do a quick video on a very popular set of upgrades for the Beretta 1301, which is this, the Magpul Zukov handguard. Um, the one I showed you before in that other video, and then the other one is the GGNG adapter, so you can put an SGA stock on your Beretta 1301. Um, I think the base 1301 is a very okay gun. Um, the polymer forehand leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, as I can see, literally everybody's grabbing this, except for the people that actually genuinely like this stuff. Fine, uh, it is what it is. The base stock that it comes with is a very sporter kind of stock, and then the length of pull is not terribly great. Um, so that's why you see a lot of people going for something like this, right? It not only tacticalizes everything, uh, but on top of that, it provides you with like M-Lock slots, which the Mod 2 1301 also fixes. And then on top of that, um, this is, I think, is a great addition. Um, the, the normal base one kind of just, um, like I said, it's very sporter, like this one, at least. You know, it, it kind of corrects the angle of the uh, pistol grip, so it's actually like kind of a normal pistol grip. It's not you know, swoopy like the other one is. Um, but yeah, so I, I think it's really uh, Aridus, I think is the company's name, but all these ones are all GG and G. I, these are almost a dime a dozen. Now Aridus, is, I think, is the one that really came out with it, but everyone else started copying it because it was such a great idea. And then, uh, yeah, so you see everyone's bred a 1301 kind of generally looking like this. Mine now generally looks like this because it's a pretty good setup, right? The hand card, um, unlike this one, it's checkered fine, but there's no, you know, nothing really great about it. Um, the GG and G hand guard, at least, and I'm sure the other ones that are kind of the same style, um, you know, it's the same way. It's it's a bracket up front, and I, uh, I think Aridus actually has a bracket now that even has M-Lock on the bracket, but it's a bracket with the Magpul Zukov AK handguard, which is nice, it's ribbed for your pleasure, right? It's got M-Lock slots, and then um, it's the same general feedback everyone has. The middle part's kind of flimsy, um, but you're not doing anything but gripping it anyways, but, you know, very nice, very nice. Um, the bottom M-Lock slots here have a heat shield in it, so you can't use them, um, which is kind of unfortunate unless you pop the, hand, the uh, heat shield out. Um, but that's kind of where your gas piston is, so do you really want to burn yourself? I don't know. Um, I do want to get the pro-style lifter one day. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Um, but quick uh, quick talk about the Zukov stock. I, um, just based on initial impressions, it's cool. Um, of course, it's a traditional style stock. It's not a pistol grip like everything else. Um, but this part here is definitely Magpul inspired, right? It's very MOE. Well, it's a Magpul stock, so of course it's Magpul inspired. But this is very um, similar to an MOE in the way that, you know, it, it all comes together. Um, I think this corrects the angle that the normal stock doesn't have. Um, the normal stock, like I said, very swoopy, um, very sporter-like. This one is actually at least, you know, correcting the ergonomics um, of the gun. And then on top of that, um, this has adjustable uh, cheek rests and then adjustable length of pull, which the other one doesn't. I mean, it does do, but not great, not compared to this. Um, nice thick rubber recoil pad in the back that um, I guess with an adapter you can put all the normal Remington uh, recoil pads on there. Um, and then this one actually has sling loops, not just that little stupid stud at the bottom that I have to buy a sling loop for just to make this work. But um, very simple, simple product, very sturdy. Uh, traditional Magpul, right? Magpul is just um, sturdy and they do everything great, great design. Um, comes in about 110 bucks, so it's not inexpensive by any means, um, but it's a very, very quick, easy upgrade for your Beretta 1301. Um, the cheek rests, uh, I, I put, 
I bought a high version of it because that's the only one available and it was too high. Um, so the low version might actually be kind of what you want if you're going to buy that and have the co-witness with the iron sights or uh, you know, have your cheek at the right place for the iron sights. You want the low one, not the high one. Um, but yeah, um, I guess there's a reason why these upgrades are, are popular because they look good and they're very functional. And uh, on top of that, um, I'm not going to say they're, in, they're inexpensive because they're not. This handguard was, you know, $190. Bucks. Um, the stock was $110, like I was telling you about, so that's $300 bucks there. And then the bracket itself was like $65, so you're in this almost $400. Um, I know Langdon Tactical themselves have a full package that you just buy the gun and it comes with like a trigger upgrade and stuff like that, but... Uh, if you don't buy stuff from Langdon Tactical like I do, and you just buy a Beretta 1301 off the wall, you want to spice up your stuff a little bit, you have the ability to, um, without, I'm, uh, I'm not going to say like a crazy amount of additional cost, um, but it's still, it's still very easy to put on. It's easy to buy, easy to put on, and uh, kind of transforms the look of your shotgun. Um, I'll take it out to the range tomorrow, I'll give it some shots. I'm sure it'll function exactly the same like everyone else's Beretta 1301. Um, but on top of that, I'm sure the ergonomic issues that at least I found in the original Beretta 1301 are gonna be fixed uh, with this, at least definitely this. I'm excited to, I'm excited for the new pistol grip, right? This is nice. Um, yeah. I'm gonna put some more, uh, more crap rounds through it right i got more top gun and i got a really really old box of like super winchester super load or whatever the stupid shells are that are cheap from walmart um i just don't have any desire to to shoot expensive stuff in here i guess but um yeah this is really cool next thing we're gonna remove the rail put an rmr mount here and probably put like a hollow sun 507 comp or something like that um because this is eventually gonna be my three gun shotgun so yeah, really cool. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you want to know about the Beretta 1301. I'm trying to do more shotgun videos because uh, I like shotguns. I just don't, uh, I don't have a lot of patience for them. Unfortunately, they're not as cool as rifles. So it is what it is, but we're trying to get, in, trying to get into it this year. So see you guys later. Let me know. See ya.